Hey y'all, it's Lindsay. You know how I know it's fall? The allergens are doing their best to give me all of the watery eyes. But also, it's after September 21st, but also I've got my October My Chow Surprise Kit from Keto Chow and I thought I would open that up with you today. Um, this box has seen better days and I'm pretty sure that that is entirely the fault of the uh, the delivery the delivery person or the sorting center or whatever, because I've been to Keto Chow and those boxes come out looking like pristine. So excuse the sad state of my box, but we're going to go ahead and pop this open. Are you familiar with Keto Chow first and foremost? Keto Chow is a nutritionally complete meal replacement shake mix that you can do 150,000 different things with. That's hyperbolic, but you can still do a ton of different things with this product. It is um, protein focused, one third of your daily vitamins and minerals. And the Keto Chow My Chow Kit is a monthly subscription, or you can do it every other month. You can set that up however it suits you best. Um, and this one that I'm going to open for you is the surprise kit, which means that you don't choose the things that happen in here, but there's 30 meals in here. You can choose your, um, quantities. Like I think they do like a 20 meal kit, 30, 60, 90 fact check me on that by going to the link down in the description box below. That does also save you 10% off of your non-subscription orders. Um, and it does give me a small amount of money back as an affiliate code, but it doesn't actually cost you anything. It saves you extra money, but the surprise kit allows you to be surprised every month with your keto chow while also giving you the discount. Um, you can choose the choose your own adventure box but that one you're limited to just their regular flavors. You don't get any limited edition or seasonal flavors on that one, but you're much more likely to always get exactly what you want. Keto Chow also has this new subscription model where the longer you're on a subscription, the more money you save. So check that out. Description box down below. I've got my little, my little letter from Keto Chow saying, ha, ha, ha. it's the October surprise box. So we're going to investigate. They've got it all nice and tidy in here. Let's go through the actual flavors first, and then we will investigate the recipes they recommend. That's another value add to the surprise kit is the, um, the recipe cards they send with it for suggestions on how to use it. Okay. First and foremost, pantry staple for me, chocolate, straight up chocolate. That is a milk protein. We have the vanilla cream. Also a pantry staple. This is so versatile. You can do a thousand and eighteen things with it that you don't have to fact check. That's real. <laughs> okay. We also have two packets of salted caramel in here. That is a fantastic fall flavor. Ooh, we have a um, packet of orange cream. This is a summertime limited edition flavor. So it's exciting that we still get to have this right now while it is still available. Um, whenever they sell out of that, I'm pretty sure that that's going to be the end of it until the possibility of it coming around next season, like next spring, summertime. So those seasonal flavors, you kind of just got to snag them up whenever you have the chance because you never know when they're going to be out. Um, we also have birthday cake, which is another limited edition, um, seasonal type of a flavor. So yum, yum. This one I love so very much. And it is blueberry pie. There's something magical about blueberry pie that keeps it right up there um, tied for first place in, in my book. And then we also have apple pie that is delightful. Um, and a mocha. So there are nine individual single serving packets in here. And then there is a 21 meal bag. And this month I'm excited for this one. We have chocolate mint. I love, love, love the Christmassy flavors. So the fact that they are preemptively giving us a chocolate mint to me, that screams, that screams Christmas time. Um, it may not to you, to you, it may just scream all the time, which I'm here for that. Thin mint flavor, kind of a thing, chocolatey mintiness, it's deliciousness. Um, but I'm excited for this because fall is not actually my favorite season. Um, it, it's actually winter. I love winter. I love summer. I love winter flavors and mint is definitely an overarching flavor profile for me. So the fact that I get to have this in advance of winter season hitting us, I'm excited for that.
Okay, so like I said, there are also some little cards where they give you some suggestions on how to best use your keto chow, aside from just drinking it as a meal replacement shake, which is the most efficient way to consume your keto chow. All right, let's see what they've got here. We have chocolate rum balls, and this is by Chef Taffy. And for this one, we will use keto chow chocolate. We have birthday mug cake. Love that so very much. Mug cakes are a beautiful way to satisfy that sweet craving without having any kind of um, leftovers that allow you to go off the rails when it comes to portion sizes. But also mug cakes are a great way whenever you're first starting off a keto friendly like lifestyle or any kind of a health quest. They're so fast, easily accessible, um, and you don't have to take a ton of prep time. This one is also by Chef Taffy. Yay. Okay. Um, next, chocolate mint. Brr, let's try that again. Chocolate mint latte by Chef Taffy. That sounds delightful. Does this take any coffee? It does take some coffee. I like to do what I call steamers, where instead of using coffee, I just use hot water or hot milk um, or like almond milk, coconut milk, that kind of thing. Um, and so it still tastes, you know, like a hot, delicious drink without having to have the coffee flavor in everything. It's, it's a thing. So anyway, chocolate mint latte that looks delightful, obviously using chocolate mint. Um, what have we got here? A crustless salted caramel cheesecake. Yeah. Yeah, we do. That looks amazing. Um, this one is by Carrie Brown. Let's see. We need, um, salted caramel keto chow. I mean, that, that was unexpected. <laughs> okay. And then maple pecan donuts by Chef Taffy. Those sound amazing, actually, like super, super tasty. What do we do these in? A donut pan in the oven. My daughter has one of the Dash mini donut makers. So it's similar to a Dash waffle maker, but it has seven little donut wells in it. That would be fantastic to attempt to do this. What else? Okay, so we need salted caramel, um, just some very basic cooking ingredients that you would find in any standard keto pantry. Um, and it uses pecans. Who doesn't love pecans? The only one that might not be in your pantry would be maple extract. Um, I don't know if I have any maple extract. One of the things I love to do with my My Chow Surprise Kit is give back to you, my viewers. And I like to do that in the form of a giveaway. So this month, I'll be giving away my chocolate mint 21 meal bag from Keto Chow. There's going to be one winner, and you need to be 18 years or older. You must be a subscriber to my channel here. You must be a U.S. resident, and you need to leave a comment down in the description box below. Hashtag mint. That's all it's got to be. Hashtag M-I-N-T. I'm going to have this giveaway open from today through the 7th of the month, um, and... On the 8th, I will actually select a winner using a YouTube randomized YouTube comment picker. And then on my community tab, I will put up a screenshot of the winner. I'll tag you. I'll make sure to get as much notice out to you as possible if you are my winner. And I will um, get this mailed off to you once you do your information. So if you'd like to be entered to win, make sure that you comment down below. Hashtag knit. While all of these different recipes sound amazing, I actually am going to go rogue because I do that from time to time. And I'm going to make a steamer using the salted caramel flavor. For my fat, I think I'm going to use heavy cream. I'm not going to use any almond milk or coconut milk just because I don't, I don't have any of those things on hand right now. Water is going to be perfectly fine. This is coffee free. Um, definitely not dairy free though, given the fact that this is a milk protein for the protein source and I'm going to use heavy cream, but you know, what's nice about that is it kind of just sort of like reinforces the fact that caramel is made with heavy cream, but all right, let's try to do this as efficiently as possible because I I'm hungry to get started. We need a half cup of some water and then I've got my salted caramel packet right here. Put that all in there. Don't let any go to waste. And then about a quarter of a cup of heavy cream. 
We'll see where that lands. I'm gonna use my immersion blender, most efficient way for me. And I love this cordless one that I have from KitchenAid. Now what you'll notice is that this is extremely thick, almost like a thin pudding. And I wanna make sure that all that powder got fully, fully incorporated, which is also why I don't put the powder on the bottom of my vessel here. I put the water down low so that any of the powder mix that gets stuck will get stuck on the sides where I can more easily scrape it off with the side of my immersion blender. This looks like whipped cream almost. That's amazing. Beautiful. Okay. Now I'm going to get myself a little spatula to squeegee all that off. Alrighty. Now let's go to the Keurig. As it stands, you are free to do this part as, um, as you see fit. I love the Keurig here just because it's always accessible. Uh, gosh, I should probably only do eight ounces since I'm using a two cup vessel here. Let's see if I can't get that off there. Set this to the side. I might need that shortly, but I'm going to start whisking as it dispenses the hot water so that I don't get too much clumping or have too big a mess because, you know, when you try to incorporate some liquids of different viscosities, they don't like to really play nicely at the very beginning. So some gentle whisking while it's slowly dispensing. There we go. We're starting to get a more uniform consistency here. And I only did the eight ounces, but I'm going to see whether or not I want to add a little bit more hot water. I probably won't because my mug I'm going to use will probably not hold much more. You know what? I don't know. I don't know. I shouldn't speak before I fully think this through, but okay. All right. Nice uniform consistency here. I like it. Now, you are out of the way. I think I'm gonna stick with this right here. And then I have the perfect mug, my Keto Chow Camp mug. Love this, have your cake and keto. And so we are going to hold the camera steady. Pour in the keto chow. A little bit left over, so we'll drink some of this down and then we will be able to refin it or fill up the remainder with the leftover bit in here. And here we have it, a delicious salted caramel steamer. This has the heavy cream in it, which is our fat source, so we can absorb all of those fat-soluble vitamins that Keto Chow provides. And it is uh, low-carb friendly, given the fact that this has no sugar in it. The immersion blender and the Keurig for me, top-notch. Love that so very much. Um, and I have minimal mess to clean up. Also truly love that. If I would have had a larger mug to be able to create this in, I could have done everything in one mug. But when it comes to the immersion blender, it's nice to have a little bit of headroom in that mixing container so you don't have it splatter all over everything and waste your precious keto chow. Let's taste this. Mm. That is perfect. Salty, caramely, just the right viscosity because it has less water, so it's a little bit thicker and velvetier. Um, you can't tell, but it is super gray cloudy out there today, so this is just the ticket for a cozy lunch hour situation or an afternoon snack. And to be honest, Keto Chow is a full meal replacement, so you could have this for lunch and then fully enjoy it and then move on about your tasks. Um, and I think that's what I'm going to do. It is currently lunchtime. So that's what I'm going to have. I'm going to have this hot keto chow steamer. I am going to enjoy it and then carry on with the things I need to get done around here. Don't forget to enter my keto chow giveaway, hashtag mint, and I will draw the winner on October 8th. See you there.